out on our Twitter feed, I have added, well, something about that, but also some additional posters. And I want you to notice, go ahead and click on these because these will, first they'll open up full size like this, but the second time you click on them, they'll open up in a window that'll give you a larger view, but I'm on a laptop, so it's giving me a smaller view. Uh, so take advantage of that feature to examine the text and its relationship, how some of you are still throwing text down on the page. Why not make it work together? Use that kerning and tracking and letting to organize your text so that these lines, look, they're the same length. I wonder why kids did that. It looks professional, doesn't it? You don't need huge text or a graphic that fills the whole page. Negative space is okay. And you notice that, hey, this is green out here and kind of yellowish in here. And this blue, it's not even, it's darker towards the edges. You know, this is texture in and of itself, but this has a complete, really cool texture and a modeled appearance. I wonder how that was done. Well, I'll show you tutorials next week that allow you to do things like this. You know, look at, hey, it's kind of a gradient, but look, it's darker around the outside than it is on the inside. How in the world was that done? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's not done in Illustrator, it's done in Photoshop. The layouts are all, every single one of these, done in Illustrator. And then every single one of them taken into Photoshop. And I will teach you more about smart objects, about taking elements in independent of one another. This Lord of the Flies one, the glasses, came in on its own. It's its own smart object, as is the title, as is the Band Books Week info down at the bottom. Look at your work, look at these posters, and compare them. Does your text look like it was just slapped down on the page? And in most every case, the answer is yes. Yes, you had no organizing thoughts about how to make the text seem uniform. And one of the easiest ways to make that happen is to make all the lines the same length. You know, work with the same size text. Here, Band Books Week is larger than September and Valhalla, the date, but Ball Hall and September are the same size. There's uniformity here. So think about how you're gonna do this. Look, it's just a little different tracking. They're both wide open, but Valhalla Library is more wide open. Hmm, amazing, huh? Unlock the secret of simple, elegant designs. That's what I'm trying to help you with. Do you get it? All right, then show me, make me proud, and remember, tomorrow's Mac Lab Saturday School, 6 a.m. to noon. Come to the regular doors. I'll have a note there with the phone number on it. I just can't leave those doors open because there's other classrooms here. And I'll come open the door for you. If you ask correctly and say, Scotch, go, will you please open the door? Don't ask me if I can. I know I can, and I have no idea what a may you. May you open the door. I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Will you please open the door? Yes, I'd be happy to. All right, see you tomorrow. Have a good day working.